two years ago, about two, three years ago for your last retreat. It was an amazing presentation. Enjoy. Thanks. Right. Thank a round of applause. Very, 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 very. Could you tell them a little bit about yourself just yeah. real quick before you start? Yeah. Um, you notice I got my piled higher and deeper degree, right? <laughs> okay. So uh, right now I, I'm a, a professor of criminal justice at Missouri Western State University. Prior to that, um, I spent about 30 years um, in the FBI and also U.S. Army. And so I was in the FBI. Um, I had really good opportunities to do some really cool shit, right? I was a career hostage negotiator, and that, uh, that's part of the stuff I bring to the PFS is how to talk to people, right? Even though, you know, we don't talk to people a lot, but there are, I'm gonna cover that a little bit. Uh, and then the gun stuff, right? There's a lot of gun stuff. Um, and what I wanna share with you today is probably something you've never seen before. Now, if you've seen John, who's seen John Wick? All right, that's some cool shit. Okay, that's like Bruce Lee theatrics, okay? What he has is a system called the center axis relock system. And um, like any martial art, right? You have to judge its value by lineage. Because you got all kinds of schmucks that just say, "Well, I'm, you know, I made up my own fucking system, right?" And you know, and they're making all kinds of money and ripping people off, and people are getting hurt. Okay. Well, the gun, the the gun area is no different. You got a lot of people out there. They go get an NRA certificate and they think that they're they can gunfight. And I'm telling you, NRA stuff is not gunfight. Okay. <clears throat> and so um, when I was in Iraq with the FBI uh, in in 2004, ran, we we worked with with the CIA over there a lot. We've done a lot of the interviews terrorists and how we grew up and all the shit that we were doing over there, all the crazy stuff, and rendering people and everything else. And um, um, so I ran into um, some CAA guys, and I saw this system, and I'm like, what, what's that? And, you know, they, they kind of knew a little bit about it, but not much. So I started to research the system a little bit, and it goes back to a guy named Paul Castle. So if you look up Paul Castle, he was a, a guy, uh, he, was a, he was a Brit, right? And he was like an SAS guy, a police guy, comes to the U.S., and he comes up with this system because um, he was in a lot of gunfights and all the shit that was taught to him just, just it doesn't work, right? Kind of like a lot of stuff you learn in other martial arts before you found Jeet Kune Do, right? Just doesn't work. The kind of emotion wasn't there, it didn't make sense. And so the idea behind the center axis relock system is that it works with the body when the shit hits the fan, okay? It works with the body alarm response. And the body alarm response happens when you have a life and death situation and all of a sudden now you got tunnel vision, you got audio exclusion, you got vasoconstriction, right? Uh, you can't use, you can't do, little, you can't even dial a phone, you can't put a key in the car, right? All that stuff goes out the window. There's nobody in this room that can stop that. So once you're in a body alarm response, you gotta deal with it when your sympathetic uh, nervous system kicks in, okay? Also when your sympathetic nervous system kicks in, your middle brain takes over your, front, your frontal lobe, and if you haven't got it trained in you, it's gonna go to shit really, really fast. Right, and so it's that muscle memory stuff that we talked about, right? And so it, it's completely, it, it's absolutely completely uh, transferable from negotiation to unarmed combatives to armed combatives, sticks and knife, and also the guns. Because you may not realize it, but the reason a lot of your stuff works under stress, and the reason um, uh, that, that, that Paul pulled it together was because it works good in your body alarm response. So. Why not add the other piece we're missing, which is guns, and why, you know, let's not do an NRA, a stupid NRA course, let's do a, a course that works under pressure, okay? And so I just want to kind of introduce it a little bit, just to, just to plant the seed. There's not enough time today to, to go into, but I'll do a little demo here um, uh, with Will and stuff, just to kind of show you uh, the idea, because I want, because you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta buy into the idea of it, and all of a sudden, you'd be like, if you took any gun courses, where you'd be like, where, where, where have you been on my lap car system? You know, it's just, it, it, it's just, it, it's something that I just threw everything out the window after I learned it. It's like, it's like why didn't I know this before? Um, before I get to that, though, I do want to cover one thing we're talking about guns, right? And that's use of force, okay? Um, if you end up shooting someone, okay, um, you're not just going to go home, okay? It's just, it's just not going to happen. And they're going to take your gun, okay? And they're going to want to take a statement, do not talk to the fucking police. I'm telling the police guy telling you, don't talk to them, okay? until you get a lawyer, and don't talk for about three days because it's gonna take you that much time to get over the stress and the trauma of taking a life with a gun. It's a little bit different. Um, I'm not sure how many people have actually taken a life with a knife or, or a stick, probably not many, right? But when you take a life, it's a problem, right? It's a problem, it affects you, it affects your whole, your whole body, right? <clears throat> so, um, so I wanna cover a couple things on use of force and show you guys a couple videos to see kind of 
uh, you know, how can you, how can I d determine the threat, right? Because you got to have a couple things that you got to be able to articulate to know whether or not you got the green light to shoot under the law. Because if you shoot and you didn't have the green light, you're going to prison, okay? And and all this stuff that you did, you're fucked, right? And now all you're going to do is practice you can do in prison, okay? And we don't want to do that. We want to keep you, we want to keep you safe, and and talk a little bit about that. So that's kind of what I want to cover. And then after I'm done, which I'm not going to take all that much time, I'm going to turn it over to Mike. And he's going to show you the stuff, you, the really fun stuff.